Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. And last time we found a new damsel in distress. It is Marie the mermaid, and she made us suck and swallow her blood because mermaid blood is actually able to heal us, which is really nice. If you've been watching Yirumakun, you'd know that human blood can also heal demons, but that's off topic. The mermaid is pretty nice. I like her. I, I like the mermaid a lot, but the thing is, uh... <laughs> what about Wine? <laughs> I'm not saying there's any romantic intent for the mermaid, but when she was revealed as Xenos, I didn't say anything about Wiene. I was like, I want to know what happened to Wiene. Marie is stuck down here. All her friends kind of left her to the higher floors because I guess they're getting away from the dangerous places. Marie can only exist in water because she's a mermaid. So I'm thinking, is Belle... Belle basically already helped her get out of the part where the water flow kind of stopped. I wonder if she can... If she's just... If he's literally just going to carry her all the way to the top where there's more water and then they can meet up with the Xenos. Or did she grow a pair of legs, like the Little Mermaid kind of tail? I don't really know. Other than that, there were pretty good character development scenes from everybody in the crew. So even if their leader, Belle, is not present, everybody that's been working on a little individual uh, is training before this arc happened, right? So Wilf was just... He was just crafting more magic swords and shit. But um, there was a really cool scene with uh, Mikoto where she does her, like, a Zeka or something, right? She does like a one one slash technique to basically just kill off that monster that was I think was it a boulder or was it a monster that was following us? But that was really cool. I, I think she also she also showed us like the martial arts technique where she kind of just like did a somersault in midair or something like that. But and then there was Lily still being more of a strategist, so you can tell that everybody is really able to not collapse even under the absence of Belle's leadership. And then Aisha even goes to compliment them, which is really odd that because she's a tough cookie, she never really gives out credit that much. But she's like, wow. Even Bell's not here and you're able to do this shit. It's like, good job, good job. And we get to see more and more that Aisha is just built if She's so amazing, right? At the end of the episode, Haruhime was about to show her her fruit to labor of training, right? So whatever grimoire that Aisha fed her, it's going to be the case. But Aisha also told the other adventurers that we were helping out to say, whatever you see here, don't tell anybody. Why is this a taboo magic? Or is this just like um an AoE level buff? that's party wide and that's kind of too OP and if the word got out it's how to will be even more sought after therefore they want to keep the secret I don't really know but let's get started with today's episode heroic slash of holy flame that's how to human spell no huh what's kokonoe okay she starts glowing all right she's taking some time to cast a spell what's it gonna be holy flame Holy flame? The f hmm. Long incantation. Holy flame attribute to everybody in her party? Oh, she's growing more tails. Is she gonna go like nine tails? One, two, three, four, five. High Harbor, the demon of nine. So she's gonna be like a kitsune, like a nine tails fox. Okay, I should have seen this coming. I mean, she was a fox girl, but okay. So what, QB, like holy flame blast you can do? More tails, let's see. This is a long ass spell though. <laughs> We don't have time usually to just spell like, like uh, chant this by ourselves, but thankfully we have a party. More tails, or are we just seeing five? What's what's going on? What are you forming above? Five, but they can be nine, right? Level boost spell up to five different. Oh, so it is AOE level buff. So that's, I I guess correctly, but. I didn't expect her to like grow out nine tails like this. Five people get level up buff. I would imagine she can grow her tails up to nine eventually, right? It's gonna be the uh, she said something of nine during her incantation. And nine people in her party can do it. Sheesh. Okay, let's see who gets it. Not Lily. Lily's not a fighter. Only the fighters got it. All right, let's go. But the level boost is just one level, right? Even one level is huge for sure, but... Okay, 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 that's way too quick. She didn't even move her spell. She's just like... She's pretty good with 
the rapier sword too, though. It's very taxing on Haruhime. Is he gathering shit to throw at us? He just eating more. So he's just waiting. He led all the crabs here. We beat the crab. They get more magic crystal. He eats them more. That's the entire plan. That's how he's smirking. The more we kill, the more he eats and gets stronger. This is so fucking dumb. Oh my god. This dude. But the episode title was Holy Flame. Maybe that relates to Bell. He's getting bigger? I don't think he's... Is he like evolving? He's never grown this big before after eating, but he's really changing shape. Moss Huge is evolving! Ugh. Okay, he looks pretty menacing now. Okay, he looks actually really fucking menacing now. Jesus Christ. Even with their level boost, it's a little bit too much, isn't it? Oh, Aisha, hang on! Uh, team help! <laughs> team? Where you guys at? Back up? Dude, Moss Huge has gotten us. Caught us off guard so much, but I think it's to just illustrate the point that- Oh! She got bit! What does that mean, though? Is it as bad as the seeds? Oh, Aisha's gonna be fine. She's a big girl, but this isn't looking too good. Bell? Somebody near us? Stab it! I hope the injury isn't like long-lasting like uh, the seeds, though. That's, that's a pretty big bite. Oh, that's a pretty bad bite. Oh, no. It's fucking growing to get... <sighs> run or fight? It's kind of true. Objectively, we should just run, but it's... I fe it feels kind of... I don't know. Against the theme of the show to run right now. Bell, please just save us right now. Bell, show up from somewhere. Please, just... What did she realize? What? 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 The lightning spell from her again. Or was that just a magic sword? I don't know. Is that just an item? This goes with the theme of the story, right? This is true, but objectively it's dumb as fuck, right? You're gonna stay and fight, right? But then we're all gonna die at this rate. This is a very heroic and an idealistic choice. But if someone doesn't bail us out, we're gonna die. That means Bell has to show up and he'll be like, good job, Lily. Good job. But you know what I'm saying, right? Right? Like, at this rate, we're gonna get overrun. Bell's coming. He's coming! There it is. There's the bailout. But if it wasn't coming, they would've all died. That's why I'm saying Lily's decision is stupid. But it doesn't feel right with the theme of the show to abandon them. There he is! Where's Marie at? Bolt. Oh, look at that. Get below. It's gonna be it's gonna be the biggest fireball that we've ever seen, probably, right? Let's see how big it gets. But this will really be enough to extinguish? I should get in there! I should still fighting Moss Huge by herself. That's ridiculous. Okay. I wanna see like the Argonaut. You know, a, a visual effect of views of the fireball, though. That was really cool in the episode one against that, like the wasp nest. It's even with the claw, the undying claw, it seems to be taking damage. It's actually shrieking in pain. I thought that he would just lead him with like a fireball and just like one shot it, but the dude starts now! That's kind of cool. Still here, the bells of the Argonaut. I don't see any visual effects of the Argonaut, though, yet. It has to cool down, right? Uh, you get in his way, honestly. Yeah, and you get in more trouble, I'd be just... She's right, she's right. Aisha, you looking rough, though. I hope you're holding out. Yes! Give Haruhime more potions and level boost Bell! Oh, he can do it. He can do it. Okay. <laughs> he's winning! It seems like he's pushing him back somehow. So, is he continuing to just... Even with the level boost, you can't pass, you can't utilize it all. 
important mechanic Mikoto is saying right now. Meaning he's been holding himself back. His true... His true potential has never been realized because... Huh. Because he's been leveling so fast. He had to adjust. How strong is he then? Oh shit, hold up. This is getting real. Not only does he level up fast, but he's also behind in terms of like the full potential he can show at each level. Okay, okay. Give him another potion. Firebolt. A different dagger. Firebolt infused fl- Wait, 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 wait. This is a different firebolt. Wait, 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 wait. This is a different firebolt. I've never seen Bell use firebolt to enhance his weapon like that. And the Argonaut, right? Argonaut infused firebolt into his weapon. It's imbued. Has that ever happened before? I don't think so. An enchantment? No. What is it? I don't know. It can be magically empowered. Any magic you try to imbue it. What is he doing? He's imbuing the weapon, but the runes are activated. Meaning, I don't know, but it's getting hype. Vesta? Vesta? That's what she said in the beginning of the season. Symbol of all things I preside over. Another name I- She did casually drop and I forgot about it. Vesta, is this the name of- I don't know, is this the name of this- He's running away, he's like, this is bad news. <laughs> Nah, -uh, you ain't going nowhere. Kyo for ice, Koga for fire. Oh, you're getting outwitted right now by a bunch of humans. <laughs> Which is should be the case. Argo Vesta. Let's see how it works. It's just a clean slash, but it's able to basically incinerate everything around them. I, there are just no traces of them. So, we beat him. That's it. Argo Vesta, we got a new move. Marie! Where are you? Is that the episode? Is there a post credit scene? There isn't. So, what's up with Marie? I mean, they, they did say, like, her friends or Zeno's friend went to the above floor. It's like, I guess, not necessarily to, like, above the lower floors. Like, maybe it's still in 25th, but you know how we fell down, like, waterfall. So, it's, like, a little bit higher than that. Maybe... All we really had to do was just carry, <laughs> carry Marie and just plop her out in this upper floor of the uh, 25th so she can meet with the Zenos. I wonder if the reunion with the Zenos will happen already so soon. Probably not. I don't, I mean, we just kind of met them. Maybe if we meet them, then what? It's like, hello, goodbye. I, I, it doesn't really make sense to me. I guess it's enough that we deliver Marie here and she can return. Argo Vesta, it has to do with Hestia's other name that she goes by when well said bell are you really doing what i think you're doing so anything he, he specifically said these lines right but what, what did well specifically say when he was imbuing the weapon right the flames are focused and an enchantment no even though it transmits magic well that doesn't mean it can be magically empowered it's transmitting the magic well but we did not magically empower it. but it fucking sure looked like we magically empowered it and then Wolf continues to say, The blade will just disperse any magic you try to imbue it with. But it worked for us. Why? Because this specific magic was just, you know, the exact match? I don't know. I'm sure he'll explain something later on. But the fact that the daggers, like, rune... I don't know if, if these are actually runes, but they started to activate as we started to imbue it, just coat it with the firebolt. This is a really good application. Because, like... Bell only has one spell. Just Firebolt! Firebolt! Dagger, dagger, dagger! Sometimes we get bailed out and we get a big sword and we get to attack with it, but it's Firebolt! But now, it's different. Now he says Firebolt, and then it's a big flame aura comes around and he's able to imbue this weapon. That's pretty sick. That's a new application of Firebolt that I've never seen. Argo Vesta. It, I mean, all it, all it really did was just one, one hit him, but then his Moss Hue just disintegrated so all of his beams just like vanished in thin air that's the power of argo vesta how many times can we use it can we use it all the time does it happen only i guess it's only available when we have the argonite cooldown on right sorry the cooldown is done right 
I'm sure the next episode will explain what, what's exactly going on, but that was a fucking episode. Probably the best episode so far. Yeah, yeah. And Aisha, there's so much work. So much work. Give credit where it's due. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you can join my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps you to buckle push on my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.